fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'll be doing a video. It's like sharing tips on how to treat up. So I will not say that I'm very good at this but I just want to share my knowledge with you guys and I hope this video will help you and yeah so consider subscribing it's free and you always you can always unsub or whatever you want and but it means a lot to me though and uh, yeah let's begin with this video so I know everybody have a trouble training up like literally everyone so today, today this tutorial is for like kind of beginners kinda kinda so as you guys can see so I have an example here this is my video it's like on trading up from a new account like literally very new account and you guys can check it out if you haven't yet so if you follow that tutorial no not really tutorial if you follow what I did inside the video you should have at least a decent item like a beta like a spike, spi I can't talk. Okay, like a spike color. So that's a quite of decent item. If it doesn't really worth a lot to you, it's okay because you can continue that kind of method to get more decent items. So this is for non-members, of course. But if you are a member, you can do one thing. You can do yes, one thing. Actually, a lot of things, but you know, one thing. So one thing is the number is you have a shop. You can sell all your trash, all your trash, all your trash for sapphires, and then you can go like a random place to ask to buy decent item for max sapphires. Max sapphires is one thousand and five hundred sapphires if you don't know yet. And then I've once tried this before, and I actually got this. I bought it for max, and I was so satisfied. So if you try this method, you can have a decent item And this is same as just now I told you as an example getting a spike collar So that one you just need more work But you can also like as the first one I told you guys You can treat your trash for another item And then just treat everything for one item like a rainbow scarf After you have a rainbow scarf You can repeat the items to get like more decent items Like a long scoop cuff or galaxy rings or ice dragon rings and this kind of stuff and then you can treat everything together for a rainbow spike color after you get rainbow spike color you can continue to get decent items and you can also buy exotics for max sapphires if you guys didn't know exotic is a pet um you can buy it for max sapphires it worth a lot lizard worth the most so lizard you need to pay like 3k if it's like a very nice color no not very nice color like a normal color but i would say you buy like the short nose i don't know how to pronounce but the short nose one and uh, the small one i don't know how to pronounce it why can i not pronounce it it's this two short nose this thing and this thing i don't want to pronounce it wrongly you know just in case so you guys can buy this for max sapphires because those are like worth lesser than lizards but they still kind of worth a lot so you can buy it from Max Sapphires and then like, I mean like 100, I mean 1000 to Max Sapphires. And then you can use them uh, um, with the design item that you got uh, um, along with Rainbow Spike Collar for lower scarf. Lower scarf, you guys don't know, it actually looks like this, this one. So I feel that honestly, cuffs are overrated so you can get a really good trade, an uh, offer for them. And then you just need to accept those offer and then trade up again. So after these long tradings, I believe you will get at least a blackout spike color worth. So after you get this, you just need to do it again and get another lowest cuff and then just add for a decent cuff. And then you can just add together for a two forest. Even though it's as you guys know, it's easy to say than done. The key point to success is actually patience because you need to find like um a patient to like and my buddies over there, I'm so weird over here, I know. So you need patience to succeed to get what you want. And believe it or not, I already like 
I have a lot of patience in trading. Not really. But you need to have a lot of patience so that you can get what you want like me, I guess. And also, so after you get at least two forests, you can then try get more forests to trade for your dream items. So I hope this video helped you guys today to get at least a forest gauntlet. If it didn't, comment down below like more ideas for me and like help me improve obviously. And also drop a like below and uh, yeah, I hope this helps you guys and like you know, bye!